What's poppin' everybody? Tara Lynch here with the next big thing, the video cast sharing all things infotainment. Here's what we have on tap for you this week. An update on the war in Ukraine and what President Biden said about it in Poland over the weekend. Plus, we have a full breakdown of NFL free agency, who is going where for the next season. And we've got the Oscars, we've got the Grammys, and what show has returned to Netflix? You know what to do, let's jump right in. We begin overseas in Europe where the war in Ukraine continues and many officials there believe they can protect their capital Kyiv from a Russian attack. However, they fear that Russian forces may try to split the country in half. This war still unpredictable nearly a month after Russian forces invaded. President Biden was in Poland over the weekend and made some remarks about the war in Ukraine. He said that there should be a change in power in Russia and Putin cannot remain in power. Several Democrats have since walked back the president's remarks, saying that the U.S. does not have a strategy in place right now to execute a regime change in Moscow. NFL free agency has been busy this offseason, so let's go through some of the biggest moves so far. First up, Russell Wilson traded from Seattle to Denver. Then you have the Kansas City Chiefs signing Juju Smith-Schuster from the Steelers, but they lost Tyreek Hill to the Dolphins. Dolphins also picked up quarterback Teddy Bridgewater. So a dynamic duo there in the QB spot. But also in Cleveland, they traded for Deshaun Watson from the Texans. Watson has faced several complaints of sexual misconduct, although he has not been charged. Green Bay Packers lost Devontae Adams to Vegas. And of course, the Buffalo Bills, we got to go through what they did. They added some star power on defense. First, they got the band back together, Jordan Phillips and Shaq Lawson but they made a big splash signing number 40, Von Miller. It's uh, Miller time back here in Buffalo. All I got to say, let's go Bills. Now to some streaming news, Bridgerton is back. The show was a hit in 2020 and written by Shonda Rhimes. It is now returned for a second season on Netflix. And this time it's going to take some twists and some turns and it will focus on the eldest Bridgerton brother. And you can stream the show right now on Netflix. Music's biggest night just about a week away. The Grammys are happening April 3rd from the MGM Casino in Las Vegas. That'll be on CBS as well. Performers include a little bit of everything. Billie Eilish, Lil Nas X, Jack Harlow, Olivia Rodrigo, and so many more. There will be two new categories in the Grammys this year. Best Global Performance and Best Urbana Album. That makes 86 categories this year. And my pick for Record of the Year, of course, the most prestigious honor. I am going Olivia Rodrigo and Driver's License. Let me know what your Record of the Year was in the comments below. Finally, Hollywood's Biggest Night returned to the Dolby Theater in Los Angeles. The Oscars were hosted by Wanda Sykes, Regina Hall, and Amy Schumer. One highlight from the event, though, was COVID precautions. They were still in place, and some people were actually unable to attend because of COVID. Lin-Manuel Miranda's wife actually tested positive, and although he tested negative out of extreme precaution, he decided to stay home. Of course, he was nominated for Best Original Song from the movie Encanto. All right, let's make it a Bones day today. Heck, let's make it a Bones week. That's all the time we have on the next big thing. Come back next week for more. And remember, when you need the news that pops, I'll be here with the next big thing.